Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would talk through four of my most worn items for spring and style them up in four very minimal style outfits. You guys know that that is what I've been wearing a lot lately. I've actually teamed up with Linya in this video and I'm going to be showing you how I pair each of these outfits with their absolutely gorgeous crossbody bag and I thought I'd quickly talk you guys through this before I jump into the video proper. So this is their black crossbody bag and I absolutely love the silhouette of this. It almost has a half moon shape to it and it's got the double zip closure at the top so very secure if pickpockets are something that you need to be cautious of and I love that it has that cotton twill lining. Very much has that luxury high end feel to it without the designer price tag and you guys know I talk about this so much in my videos but I do not think that you need to spend the designer price tag to get designer quality items and Linnea is a really good example of a brand that delivers that. So it has two interior pockets and as I mentioned it's got the cotton twill lining and the only branding that's on this bag is actually just a little leather patch with the brand name hot stamped into it and that's one of the things that I really admire about Linnea is the fact that there isn't any logo mania. It's very subtle, understated and they kind of let the bags speak for themselves. And the bag also has feet on the bottom so if you set it down on the ground it's not going to get damaged or scratched or anything like that. And I like the fact that you can wear it two different ways. So you can wear it either by holding the handle and you can actually detach the little shoulder strap or else you can wear it crossbody or on your shoulder. So I like that there's a few different ways that you can style this up and it's just a really classic design. The black color is absolutely chic. So the crossbody bag is made of a vegetable tanned leather and I will drop a link to the Linear website where you can read a little bit more about the process and as you can see it's a smooth leather bag. So unlike my soft tote and my sling bag which are both more of a grain pebbled leather, this one is smoother. So it's probably a little bit more delicate however I would say it looks a lot more luxurious and elevated than the other two styles. So that is the little crossbody bag. I'm obsessed. I've been wearing this a lot lately. It can actually fit a really reasonable amount of stuff inside. I'm going to do a little overview so you guys can see. I'm using it at the moment and I actually popped a book in here because I wanted to show you that you can use it to take a book with you uh, day to day. So inside the bag I have got my sunglasses, a book, my card case, a second card case which I've popped into one of the pockets, my car key my house keys, a small perfume, a hand sanitizer, two lipsticks and also mints. And there is a little bit of room on the top where you could pop a few more items, maybe a couple more lipsticks if you were so inclined. However, I don't think I'd really overstuff this bag just because I want to make sure that it keeps its shape and keeps its integrity. But yes, that is a really beautiful bag. So I'm going to run through these four outfits. I'm going to style them up and I'm going to show you how they all look with this gorgeous little crossbody bag. Now one quick caveat before I jump into these foremost one items and talk you through each of the outfits and that is the fact that it was unseasonably cold in Sydney for throughout all of spring. I was still wearing my coat in October and even at the start of November some days. It was very, very chilly. A lot more so than I would usually expect. We did have a few days where it was, you know, 37 degrees, but for the most part, it was on the cooler end of the spectrum. So the items that I'm going to feature definitely reflect that. So I'm just going to jump into it. I'm going to talk about the first piece, which is this really gorgeous little polka dot camisole from Everlane. And I've really been enjoying wearing this. For the most part, I've actually been wearing it tucked into jeans with a jacket over the top because, as I mentioned, it's been pretty cold. But I love the fact that it's white. It's got the black polka dot, which is my favorite. I also have it in the navy with the white polka dot. But it's been a really playful piece, which has elevated a lot of my very simple outfits. Now, for the outfit that I'm going to show you guys, I decided to pair it with a white midi skirt. Now, this is probably the way that I would have worn it throughout most of spring if it had been warm enough. I really love the combination because I'm keeping within that white theme but my top's really whimsical, you know, it's got that polka dot and I think it kind of makes it the star of the outfit. On my feet I decided to go for a very elegant but plain T-bar leather sandal and these are in a black leather and I thought that they paired really beautifully with the Linnea crossbody bag. Just a little elegant touch and this does make me feel a little bit like Audrey Hepburn and Roman Holiday. Maybe not so much so as when I went to Rome but definitely has that vibe. So 
Yes, I just really love this little cami. I think it's such a gorgeous addition to any sort of spring summer wardrobe. It's worn really well. You can just throw this one in the washing machine and I've been really pleased with it. Next, I want to talk about a pair of trousers that I've worn so much. So I've really been making an effort to try and stop wearing so much denim because it would otherwise overtake my wardrobe. I have a little bit of an addiction and it's funny because I never used to be that into jeans. I used to be very much a skirts girl and I would wear skirts and tights all the time. Uh, things have definitely changed. So the trousers in question are these black cropped trousers. They're sort of a tailored style and these are from Zara and I'm really surprised by how much wear I've actually gotten out of these. They're a really thick material and I think the fact that they are made out of sort of a crepe gives them a lot of structure and makes them look very chic and they're cropped too which is kind of my go-to when it comes to trouser silhouettes. In terms of how I've been wearing these, I've mostly just been wearing them with a t-shirt and a sweater tucked in. But for this look, I actually wanted to dress it up a little bit and show you how you could pair these trousers for the office. So I've gone for a stone-colored silk blouse it's from Everlane, and I think it looks really nice with the fact that these trousers cinch in at the waist and then you've got the billowing silk blouse around the upper half of your body. I've also worn my Helmetland blazer, which you guys know I think is ultra chic, goes with everything, and because these trousers are black, it's a really nice and natural combination. Then to tie in with the color of the blouse, I've worn my Celine taupe heels, which I keep forgetting that I have. These sort of sit in the back of my wardrobe and don't get too much love, but I adore them. I feel like this outfit pairs really nicely with a crossbody bag. I would probably wear it on my shoulder with this outfit or maybe just hold in my hand and remove the strap. I just think it's quite an elegant bag, but understated enough for the office. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to fit your lunch in here, but you'd be able to have everything else you needed, a little notebook, your pen, etc. So yeah, that is outfit number two. And like I said, really be loving these I will drop some alternatives in the description box uh, if these ones are no longer available it's funny because if you had asked me three months ago if a sweater would have been one of my most worn items for spring probably would have said no but here we are probably one of the items that I wore the most over the last three months has been this turtleneck sweater from Evelyn this is a really nice cotton turtleneck sweater I like the fact that it's sort of more of a mock neck so it just comes slightly up your neck rather than having the roll neck which can sometimes just be a little bit bulky and probably would have been a bit too much for spring. The fact that this is cotton makes it really perfect for the transitional season and actually I think it's a really great candidate if you find wool a little bit too itchy or you can't find wool that agrees with your skin because I know some people tend to be a little bit more sensitive. The fit of this is really oversized. I took my usual size, I uh, got a size small and I think it fits really perfectly on me. So in terms of how I've been wearing this, I've mostly been wearing it with denim skirts and just jeans half tucked in the front which is kind of the way I tend to wear a lot of my sweaters but I really wanted to mix things up and put it with something that I haven't worn in a really long time and I decided to pair it with my stone colored skirt from Karen Walker. Now I think this is probably one of the oldest things that I have in my wardrobe. I bought it I want to say seven to eight years ago and it is still going strong. It's a really beautiful fit and cut and I like the fact that it's got pockets on the, uh, on the hip. I would tuck the sweater in just in the front I think, probably not the whole way around. And on my feet I thought it would be really cute and just a nod to the fact that it is warmer weather to wear some sandals. So I've paired it with my Mariam Nasa Zeda sandals which I adore and I just think they look really nice. Because I've worn the black sweater I think it pairs really beautifully with the crossbody bag. And because this is more of a casual outfit, sort of a weekend outfit, I think I'd definitely be going hands free. So I'd be wearing this look with the bag slung across my body. So that is probably the third most worn item in my wardrobe for spring. And finally, I do have a second piece of knitwear that I wanted to talk about. And this is actually a cardigan. And I get so many questions about this when I do wear it. It is this beautiful cashmere cardigan from To Sell With Love. Now, unfortunately, this brand no longer exists. So I'm going to find you guys alternatives and drop them in the description box. Now, I actually bought this one pre-loved off my girlfriend, Alison. I remember eyeing it up when she first purchased it. And when she told me she was thinking about parting with it, I immediately said, I will take that off your hands. I will give it a good home. So <laughs> this has been one of those things that I reach for whenever it is cold. And it's so snugly and warm. This is a really good example of super premium luxury cashmere. It is just the softness is beyond. It is so nice to touch. Um, and like I said, unfortunately no longer available and you guys don't even want to know what the original retail price was. <laughs> but 
it's just really nice and cozy this is actually a medium so like I said it's super oversized and I've been wearing this a lot just with my t-shirts and denim skirts but probably my favorite way to wear it is paired with a tee and some skinny jeans so for this outfit I've worn it with the semi sheer creamy kind of mild tee from Saba I really like this because it's slightly more dressed up than your usual tee it's got this seam detail up near the neckline which is very different something I've never seen before and I feel like this is a really good piece that you can transition quite easily from work to play for my jeans I've gone for something a little bit distressed you guys know I love a little distressed detail on my denim and I've gone for my redone high-waisted jeans I like the fact that these are slightly cropped they come just above the ankle on me because my legs are a little bit shorter compared to the rest of my height and then on my feet I've just gone for a pair of mules really easy and this is just another one of those kind of simple casual weekend looks and I just love how the crossbody bag from Linnea ties with this again might just wear it across my body but I also like the fact that I have the option to carry it as a top handle as well so there you have it those are four of my most worn items of spring as I mentioned I was definitely reaching for my autumn winter wardrobe a lot longer than I was anticipating and that is how I would pair them all with my Linnea crossbody bag if you would like to see other styling options with this bag then definitely keep an eye on my blog and on my Instagram because I know this is going to be featuring in a lot of my outfits that I share with you guys and a huge thank you to Linnea for partnering with me on this video definitely a lot of fun to film and you guys know how much I love their bags they're just really premium quality bags but without that luxury price point I will also be posting a full review of this bag over on my blog so if you want to check that out then I will leave that in the description box below I would love to know which of the four outfits was your favorite please tell me in the comment section below and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.